what's up everybody it's Amaya so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look and this was created using all drugstore and affordable products not all of these you can actually buy at the drugstore but I would say like 95% of them you can. There are a few products in here from ColourPop and also from The Ordinary, which you can buy online. So yeah, I really like this look. It's a beautiful glowy, springy sort of look. We have some nice rose gold eyes and a nice peachy nude lip. I'm really, really excited to show you guys how I created this look. I actually use many of these products every single day or on a daily basis over high-end products. So there are some really, really great gems in this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and keep on watching. Mwah. Okay, you guys, so the first thing we're going to do is prime our face, and I'm going to be going in with the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. So this you cannot actually find at drugstores. You have to order this online, and that's kind of annoying. However, it is the best affordable silicone-based primer that I have tried. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press this in to my skin. I'm going to avoid my nose for right now. This is a really great option for people that have dry skin that, but still want to use a pore filling primer because it is almost kind of moisturizing. Okay, so now we're going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer of all time, drugstore and high end. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my finger and blend this all over my lid. Also make sure to get it out here a little bit and in the inner corners. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Wet n Wild Come Correct Conceal Concealer and just pop that on my lids. You can use whatever concealer works for you. Typically like a high coverage one that is nice and long lasting works really well. I'm just using this one because I had it on the back of my hand from carving out my brows. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be starting off with the e.l.f. Matte for Matte 2 palette. This is the one in a summer breeze. This is what it looks like. I love this one and I also love the original Matte for Matte, but this one has a matte white and a matte black, which is kind of my basic requirements for a palette to really be successful in my mind. I'm going to be starting off using a little wet n wild eyeshadow brush right here and just going in to the matte white and packing this all over my lid. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M504 and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shade right here and then a little bit of this shade right down here. and just kind of mix those together, tap my brush off and I'm going to go in and just start blending this into the crease. As you can see, like these blend out so easily. And they're so pigmented and they're so beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with this shade right here and mixing it with a little bit of this other pink shade. So this is kind of like a light dusty mauve and this one's a little bit more of a darker, more reddish pink. I'm just going to lightly dust those but keep them more on the outer corners. Just doing nice back and forth motions. Then I also just kind of swirl my brush like this to really get all the colors blended together. I make sure to blend over here too because sometimes that can look a little choppy and harsh. Okay, now I'm just gonna be taking an e.l.f. Uh, blending brush. I'm not really sure. It's very similar to a Morphe M443. It's kind of like that tapered, fluffy brush. And I'm going to be going in to this shade right here. This kind of like cool tone grayish and then mixing it with a little bit of this dark brown over there and just focusing that on the outer corner the outer area of our lid and i'm just kind of bringing that into the crease just slightly and then we're going to go back in with my Morphe brush and just blend all of that out. Okie dokie, so I'm going to go in with the Revlon Cream Shadow. This is in the shade Praline. It's 130. And I'm gonna take the little brush that it comes with. This actually works really well. And I'm going to dip into this shadow. Look how beautiful this is. This is the best cream shadow that I've ever used from the drugstore. It has like little tiny glitters in it, so it's more than just a 
waxy cream. It actually has like nice dimension to it. And I'm just going to put this on the inner part of my lid right here just to add some brightness. As you can see, it just looks so gorgeous and sparkly and you can apply it with your finger or with a little brush if you want to like pack on the color and add more precision. And I'm just kind of using this to almost like do like a little half cut crease, but not really. And you can just go in and kind of blend that out with your finger. So you can totally leave this just like this. This eye look is good to go if you wanted to leave it like this. But I'm actually going to be going in with the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Sunset. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to put something over this. This is going to make uh, the cream shadow last a long time. It's going to make this eye look last a long time. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take my... Elf Flat Eyeshadow Brush. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is a nice rose gold. One of my favorites. Just tap that off and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of a wet spray. A facial mist or setting spray will do. And I'm just going to kind of pat this onto the lid. As you can see, it just looks so beautiful. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the white right here and just apply that on the inner part to add a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just going to go in with my Morphe brush and just blend out any harsh lines. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with a little small angled brush from e.l.f. And I'm going back into the Mad For Matte eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to take this black shade right here. And I'm just going to kind of create a soft liner along the lashes. Just to add a little bit of dimension. As you can see, that took like five seconds. Okay, so we're gonna come back and highlight the brow bone, highlight the inner corners, do mascara and everything like that, but I want to go back and finish our face first. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer, and I'm going to put this on my nose. You guys know I love to do this to make sure that my makeup stays all day on my nose. I learned this from James Charles. Okay, now that I look a little crazy, um, for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing together the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion um, and the LA Girl Pro Coverage. I love these, but I have a little bit of a self-tan that's wearing off, so this is a, just a teensy bit light for me right now. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the LA Girl foundation and just put like a dab of that on my cheeks, my chin. A little bit on my nose and on my forehead just to mix in with the cushion foundation. And I'm going to take my L'Oreal sponge. Love this sponge so much. It is so nice and squishy. I almost like it better than the Beauty Blender, to be totally honest. It's that good. Um, and this foundation looks so beautiful and natural on the skin. You guys have heard me rave about it a million times. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just going to take the butt of this and just press it in to the foundation and then kind of mix it together on my face. This combination is so beautiful because these foundations are both very dewy, but the LA Girl one is a little bit more long wearing than the Wet n Wild one, so when they're together, they just make like an awesome combo. I also love the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. However, that one is a little bit more full coverage, a little bit more heavy duty, and today we want to be very glowy and very springy, so I'm going for the more dewy foundation. Okay, so for concealers today, I'm going to be mixing two together. This is my favorite combination lately. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Light, and I'm just going to put this right underneath my eyes right here. I like this one because it has a nice natural finish. It has like a medium or light coverage depending on how much you put on. And it just looks really flawless and gorgeous under the eyes, which I love. I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have been loving this one as well. It's definitely more matte, more full coverage, more long wearing, and it just looks very flawless, like filtered under the skin. It just looks so gorgeous. So I just mix that in and the two of them together just work really, really well together. They have that nice sort of dewiness slash long wearing slash matte. It just creates a nice satin 
long wearing finish. A good tip if you want your makeup to last for a really, really long time is to let your under eye concealer set. That'll kind of create a more full coverage locked into place look. But for today, I'm going to kind of blend it out more soon um, because I don't want anything to look too full coverage, too matte. The only thing I don't love about this L'Oreal sponge is the tip is kind of fat, but they do have a smaller one that's specifically made for concealer that's supposed to be really, really good. So I want to try that one out. But I mean, it's definitely doable, it's definitely workable. But that is kind of a pet peeve of mine with this one, is you have kind of an issue getting directly in the little tiny corners of your eye. Okay, so I'm actually gonna share a tip with you guys that Wayne Goss taught me that he learned from, I forget, I feel like it was Charlotte Tilbury or someone like that. But it is to take a tissue after you applied your concealer and just lightly dab underneath your eyes like so, and it takes off any excess concealer that might be sitting on top of your skin that could be causing creases. And then you can also take it and blot your foundation as well. It doesn't feel like it's taking off any makeup or smearing anything, and you really don't notice a difference right away with your makeup, but you will notice throughout the day you'll get less creasing, everything will look less cakey, and just creates a more natural appearance. As you can see, like it didn't take a lot off, but that little bit would definitely make a difference if I left it on. So I'm going to be going in with some liquid highlighter. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Champagne Drops. <laughs> this is what they look like. You guys have heard me rave about these a lot. They are so, so gorgeous. They're probably my favorite affordable liquid highlighter. So I'm just going to blend those on to my face. By using a liquid highlighter, you will have to apply less powder highlighter afterwards, and this will give you a more natural look to the skin. This also applies really nice over pretty much any foundation. You know, if you have a little bit of powder on your face, it doesn't, like, ball up or look gross. So for powder, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Fair. Now, I mentioned this in an anti-haul a while ago. I think it was in the summer when they first released, saying I wasn't going to buy this because I didn't get it because it was colored. What is that going to do? Whatever. But then I heard Thomas Halbert talk about it and how it just looks really flawless and beautiful under your eyes. And I was like, okay, I have a coupon. I'm going to pick it up. And I picked up the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade. I've actually really been liking this powder, you guys. It is kind of full coverage which is really nice, and it does lock your makeup into place. It is also very mattifying, so for those of you with oily skin, check this powder out. And I'm gonna dip my beauty blender, you can use whatever sponge you want, into the powder. Then I'm going to just dab it off on my hand a few times, and then just apply this, and I'm gonna concentrate right on this inner area, right here, so like right on the sides of my nose, and right in the inner corner of my eye, being careful not to hit like this highlight region right here. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this down the bridge of my nose and just a little bit on my chin and my forehead, just wherever else we put that concealer. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this on my neck where I put that foundation and just a tiny, tiny bit where we're going to apply bronzer, just kind of taking the excess and putting it there. I don't want to put like a ton there because I don't want to make the foundation look too matte. So for bronzer today, you guys know I love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Everyone loves that. It's such a great bronzer. But I wanted to give you another option, maybe something that was even a little bit more affordable. So I'm gonna be using the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This one is the one for lighter skin. I used this in a full face of first impressions last spring. And then over the summer, I got a little bit too dark for it. So this sort of winter and spring, I decided to rediscover it. And honestly, you guys, it is so good. I really, really like this. It's just so creamy and smooth. I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. It's also not too orange, which I hate when bronzers are too orange. So I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques blush brush, and I'm just going to tap this in and tap some of the excess off, and then just swirl this on my cheeks right here. As you can see, it creates a really nice warm bronze effect, but it's not choppy, it's not blotchy, and this stuff is so cheap. I think it's one, I wanna say it's like $5 or under. Okay, there are so many amazing blushes at the drugstore. I love the Makeup Revolution matte ones. Um, I love the e.l.f. blushes. 
Oh my God, there's so many Essence blushes. They're really nice too. But today I'm gonna go be going in with the Milani Baked Blush in Bella Bellini. This one is a little bit more on the expensive end of drugstore, but I've just been loving it recently and it's totally a dupe for NARS Orgasm. It has that same beautiful like pink gold duochrome shift and it has that beautiful luminosity to it that just looks so flawless on the skin. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna be taking the e.l.f. 107 kind of like I think this is a highlight brush, but I totally use it for blush. And I'm just going to lightly feather some of that on my cheeks. It's very pigmented, but it's just such a beautiful shade. I love it so much. Okay, now you guys know the drill. I'm gonna be going in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder and my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm going to be mixing these together on my Wet n Wild Powder Brush. And just using this to buff in my bronzer and blush and kind of set the face this is one of my favorite tips to do to make sure everything looks nice and flawless and blended i just feel like my makeup isn't complete if i don't do this so for highlighter today you could totally go back in with the essence pure nude highlighter gorgeous highlighter but today i'm going to be using this ColourPop highlighter right here in here kitty kitty look how big this pan is and i want to say it's like six or seven bucks um, if you just get the little refillable pan so good right and I'm going to be taking a Morphe M501 and I'm just going to be taking some of this and applying that to my cheeks. It's a beautiful like champagne mid-tone highlight. It's not too bronzy, it's not too gold. It really is nice. You can see that's so gorgeous and this is so cheap. I'm just going to put some on here, here. A great highlighter as well is the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls highlighter. I love that one. It has a very similar tone to it, but I just like this one a little bit more. I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corners as well. And put a little bit of this on the brow bone. So now for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be going back in with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. And I'm just going to take all of the shades that we used like this. Tap off my brush and then just blend them underneath the lower lash line. I don't want to do anything too in-depth under here. I just want to put a little bit of color. So by mixing these all together, you get kind of like the gist of what we did without having to redo it all over again. It's very, very quick. Okay, now I'm just going to spray everything with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. It's such a good setting spray. I'm just going to go in with my sponge and just kind of press everything in. Make sure all our powders are nice and absorbed. And then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Beauty Shield Makeup Mist. This is a Daily Defense Makeup Mist. And it's just gonna add a little bit of a dewiness to the skin and a little bit of extra hydration after all the powders that we kind of piled on there. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna be mixing two together. I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and the Maybelline Lash Sensational and mixing them together. You guys know I love my Roller Lash. It's my absolute ride or die mascara. It's better than any mascara I've ever tried, but these two do give me a similar look. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and then go in. And then I'm just going to go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. For lips, I'm just going to be going in with the Rimmel Lasting Finish A Thousand Kisses Liner in the shade Tiramisu. It's a really gorgeous nude liner. And then over top of that, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Color Reach um, lipstick in the shade Masterpiece. It's a beautiful matte lipstick. I actually really, really like this one, and it's not, like, drying either. So this is the finished look. It's really beautiful, very glowy, very gorgeous for a natural glam or a little bit of a rose gold glam, springy sort of feeling. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.